Welcome to this video cast about MySQL in a DB cluster and how to automate it using Puppet. We released recently the new MySQL shell release candidate and we're going to use the functions and commands part of the MySQL shell to deploy automatically a cluster. So if you want to see how it works uh, manually please verify first the previous blog post. So as you can see here I have some Yera uh, files and where I defined a common one for every, everybody, so every node and then for each node I have uh, one that specified the server ID. So what I just need to do is says which classes I want, so here in a DB cluster and what's the MySQL server ID uh, I define. That's it. So as you can see, I have a machine running MySQL 1 and I'm provisioning it. So it means I'm running Puppet uh, on it. The installation of the cluster takes a while. Uh, so uh, I mean the packages. So as you can see here, it's installing MySQL 5.7 community uh, server. So MySQL 1 is the seed, as you can see in the common uh, definition in the YAML we have the seed in the B cluster seed is MySQL 1 so this one will be the seed so it means it is the node that we're gonna use to bootstrap the server so now it's installed the shell it's also installed and now it makes the magic right done so we have started puppet so provision the node by puppet it was installed so we're going to do the same provisioning on two other machines but first let's have a look on MySQL 1 if everything happened because it was quite fast right so first I will run the shell I will connect to this MySQL 1 node I will get the information so read from the metadata the information from the for the cluster so I use dba get cluster I have my cluster uh, object and I will check the status so ev everything went fine I should have one node online which is the case perfect so now I will provision MySQL 2, so run Puppet on MySQL 2 uh, to install everything and make it part of the cluster. You see a lot of more information just because uh, Puppet runs with debug enabled on MySQL 2. At the same time, I will check on MySQL 1. inside the standard MySQL client to see group replication what's going on there. So I will select everything from the replication group member table uh, which is in performance schema of course. So let's see who are the members and currently we have only one member of our cluster. This member is the seed, so it's MySQL 1, right? Meanwhile, as you can see, MySQL community server is being installed on MySQL 2. So it's downloading everything from uh, the repository. So this can take a while. So once again, I would like to highlight how easy it is. So one Yara file with the information, so what I call common, uh, with the passwords, uh, the privileges, uh, and so on. And then, and who is the seed? So because every node needs to know which one is the seed. Then we create, uh, we add just the class in the DB cluster to every other uh, members in their YAML file with a unique server ID. So as you can see 
it was installed. No, it installed also the MySQL shell, which is done. And then make the MyCNF and everything. It starts MySQL D automatically. And then make it join the cluster. So we can check here MySQL status. It's not, it didn't join the cluster yet. No, it should be there. And as you can see, it already joined automatically the cluster. Let's check the same in the group application and you can see MySQL 2 is there too. So it, qu it is quite very fast, right? And not that complicated. So let's do it again now for the latest um, node. So which is MySQL 3. Once again, it will check if the packages are installed. If not, it will install all the necessary packages. And as soon as it will be done, you see here it says, okay, I'm not the seed, so I need to join a cluster. So once again, it will install uh, MySQL 5.7 community uh, server and then when it's done configure it and join the cluster so as you can see what takes most of the time is just downloading uh, from the internet the RPM from yum right The Puppet recipes are on GitHub and these are examples that you can use to make your own, of course. So uh, there is no guarantee that I will keep them updated uh, right now and so on. So this is just as example and how easy it is. Uh, feel free uh, to, uh, to improve them, feel free to fork them. And maybe if you want put them uh, um, in the puppet repositories puppet lab stuff if you think this is easy so let's have a look still downloading everything should be down soon It's done. So MySQL community server is installed. The shell is installed to modify some configuration file. So it's checked the instance, it sees that the instance it's okay. And it's done. So let's have a look again. So the node it's part of it and here we can see it too. So thank you for watching. As you can see it's very easy to deploy a MySQL cluster using Puppet. Bye bye.